I'm so excited about Heptio joining forces with VMware. There are so many things to, to really focus on, but I'm gonna start with, with a couple. Uh, the first being that Heptio's mission and VMware's mission align so closely. I think, you know, when you look at this through broad strokes, we want to help customers be successful with technology. We want to help them navigate this transition from where they are to where they need to be, both from on-prem to the cloud and into a future where it's going to be, you know, spread across all sorts of different environments. There's a focus on engineering and quality engineering and really building, you know, technology that's that's going to do right by customers and is going to, going to work over the long term. I do not want to see the world move back into the mainframe era. The world needs a champion of this technology. We need an organization that's going to commit to the open source ideals and the open source mission, um, but that has neutrality, that isn't invested in one outcome or another, um, that is able to be a trusted advocate for a variety of different environments, but doesn't necessarily exclude any environment for a, a variety of purposes. I've seen VMware as a company that's led the industry through several significant disruptions in terms of how to think about IT. You know, it was central to the introduction of virtualization, decoupling workloads from the infrastructure that they were running on. It was central to defining the software-defined data center uh, and, and really thinking about that across the entire portfolio of, of technologies that touch your workloads. Um, and I think we have another opportunity to do that again, a little bit higher up the stack. Um, that will have as much impact or more than anything we've done so far. I think VMware is in a great position as we look to take enterprises from where they're at today into the future with cloud and cloud native technologies. And one of the things that I like to say a lot is that uh, every enterprise is really messy, really complicated. Their infrastructure and their investments, they evolve over time uh, as new technologies are introduced, as they maybe acquire companies and merge, that type of thing. So really, every enterprise is its own little Galapagos Island with like birds with funny shaped beaks and all that. And they're really looking for a partner that can help them adapt to, to uh, the current situation, help them incrementally figure out how to take advantage of new technologies, and then move forward into uh, you know, cloud and cloud native. And VMware has done that in the past with the transition to virtualization, with the software-defined data center as we start bringing together networking and storage into this, into this movement. And I think there's an enormous opportunity for us to also help be a trusted partner as enterprises move to cloud and cloud native. So when I think about the, the future of you know, cloud native operations, I think there's a set of different pieces that are needed at, at different points in the journey. Where customers are right now, um, it's relatively simple. You know, they need to get Kubernetes deployed in an environment that they control. Um, they need to be able to turn it up and operate it. They need to not just solve the mechanics of initially deploying it, but how do you patch it? How do you update it? How do you maintain it? Kubernetes is moving very quickly. And so I think the starting point for us uh, is to make sure that each and every one of our customers has an easy way to access, consume, update and maintain a Kubernetes environment. So that's the real starting point. What we're then going to start to see over time is that Kubernetes is going to proliferate massively. Um, it's, you know, once you, you give an organization a taste for how productive their engineers become, how much it simplifies uh, their day-to-day -day operating practices, um, we're going to start to see a proliferation of Kubernetes. And at that point, it makes sense to introduce a set of tools uh, and a set of capabilities to the organization that enables them to start specializing their operations, uh, start to think about you know, teasing apart the various uh, pieces of the service and, and create some levels of specialization. We're also going to see um, net new problems emerging, like how do you do resource cost accounting in this world where you have fragmented fleets? How do you start to think about creating outcomes for organizations that have requirements where an application may run in 27 different uh, geolocations and, and something has to be rationalized against that? So starting to deliver technologies that not just make Kubernetes more accessible, but make it more practical to manage in a highly distributed fleet, whether part of that fleet is on-prem or at the network edge or in the public cloud, but really bringing it under a unified uh, governance model is going to be really important. Yeah, one of, the, one of the ways we like to talk about this is uh, it's all about scale. And a lot of times when people talk about Kubernetes and scale, they're talking about the number of nodes in a cluster. Uh, but there's different types of scale that are going to be challenges for enterprises. Uh, this includes the diversity of the applications, uh, the different types and the number of applications that are being run. 
uh, scaling across multiple regions, multiple uh, geolocations, scaling across a large number of teams, scaling across a large organization. So uh, a lot of the challenges that enterprises face are in terms of scale, but it may not be sort of the, the engineer sort of infrastructure idea of scale. Kubernetes is, is uh, and can be very strategic for VMware. And one of the things that uh, Kubernetes does is it creates a level playing field by providing an API, by providing a self-service model that doesn't just run on public cloud, but also runs on-prem on top of something like vSphere and vCenter, um, and does it in a, in a consistent way. And so that creates an enormous opportunity uh, to not only provide a consistent platform for customers uh, that will make their, their organizations more efficient, but also provides an enormous opportunity to start providing value on top of that consistent platform. And so there's you know, ubiquitous Kubernetes, which is something that VMware can very much help make happen, uh, is really sort of a rising tide that will lift all boats.